Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. And as you have already read by the title in today's video, I'm going to be discussing top 5 money saving tips for international students in the UK. So all of the things that I'm going to be discussing, uh, I have learned through my mistakes through the years. It's been two years for me in the UK and I've learned a lot of stuff that I would like to share with you guys. A little disclaimer before we start this video, this video is going to be for anyone who has just just started to manage their own money especially as a student in the UK so, so yeah let's get into this video so the first thing that we're going to be discussing is the rent now rent is going to be the major portion of your expenses right it's very important that you choose your uh, accommodation budget and accommodation very wisely and this should start as soon as you start budgeting on your education finance right so as soon as you start thinking about what is your budget for your tuition fees for example you should also make a budget for your living expense and majorly that would include your rent right how do you like how do you budget your accommodation first thing that you need to think about is how much are you willing to work in the uk part-time right as you may know that uh, 20 hours is is the allowance right say for example you decide to work 20 hours a week and say your minimum let's take minimum wage as 10.50 pounds per hour so your monthly income would be something around 800 to 850 per month naturally your rent should be falling under 800 or 850 for that matter there's also going to be factors such as how are you paying your rent uh, monthly or in installments three installment five installment whatever is your number of installments but you can always save up monthly it's a good habit to save monthly even if you're paying three installments over the year uh, to cover that make sure you budget your accommodation in this way so that you can take maximum care of your living expense right how do you do that first of all you can get in touch with accommodation agencies for example university living it's a good agency that would help you select your accommodation according to your budget they have over 2 million beds and 65k plus properties best thing that they will also do the price match guarantee for you they provide more than 500 cities globally say for example today i want to book an accommodation in exeter now select your campus so the accommodation is nearby Brilliant. Now we have a whole list of accommodations that match our requirements. University Living caters to all budget types. You can find endless accommodation options here, right from student housing and private apartments. Uh, they also have this wonderful calculator which helps you calculate your cost of living in a certain city so i will leave down some links in the description so you can check those out moving to the second factor that is the food now you will be shocked to know that especially in the uk the food expense the grocery expense makes a huge difference because on one side there is stores like waitrose MNS, which are the most expensive grocery stores in the UK. On the other side, there is Aldi, Lidl, Asda, which are more on the affordable side, right? So choosing your grocery store makes a huge difference. It wouldn't make a difference if you're going to purchase one or two items, three or four items also. But when you're uh, purchasing weekly, you will save a lot of money depending on what grocery store you choose. The second part of it is we all know that eating food at home saves money. But there are going to be some times that you don't want to cook a meal, you don't have time to cook a meal, you don't have energy, you know what to do in such situations. Now, there are two type of methods that, that I would like to suggest you now there is something in uk especially something called as meal deals now you will get these in every grocery store now that now the price also varies but anywhere between three to four pound you will get main that could be a sandwich wrap and a side with it that could be fruits protein bar chips whatever and a drink with it all of this three under three to four pounds which is i feel very economical and also fills fills your tummy right so i used to take these meal deals while i was studying in the university and it's it's quite economical and pocket friendly right other thing is that doing meal preps meal preps is basically you cook a lot of food at a one time and then put it into small tiffin boxes For example you want to make a rice so you make a lot of rice and dal and you pack it in five tiffin boxes and you refrigerate it whenever you feel like you don't want to cook you don't have time you can just 
take you one out microwave it and you're good to go so that's really one way of saving money as well instead of impulsively ordering food from uber eats or you know just going out and spending 15 20 pounds on a meal uh, this way you can save a lot of money there's also free meals options so there there would be events going on in your university some free events give you free food plus they, there is uh, communities there are societies uh, for example there is Hare Krishna community where they do bhajans every week and you can go attend the bhajan feel the spiritual energy around you have have a good time and have the free food afterwards that is the prasad if you're living in big cities such as london there are a lot of temples gurudwaras and many religious places where you will get free food so which is really good now let's come to the third point that is transport now transport varies from small cities to bigger cities in small cities uh, for example i studied in exeter and it's a small city so you, there's not much expense of traveling because you can always walk uh, anywhere because everything is so much close in the city right even if you want to take a bus it's it's very pocket friendly it's like two pound one side so not a problem at all and you can get four pound day rider tickets if you want to travel more than twice a day uh, in small cities it's again comparatively pocket friendly but in bigger cities for example london birmingham things are a bit far away from each other so you have to take public transportation or any sort of transportation to travel from one place to the other for example if your uh, university is in london you'll have to take tubes or buses to travel to your university on a daily basis now this can be a bit heavy on the pocket so uh, there are ways that you can save money for example you can take an oyster car now, oyster card is nothing but a card which you can top up and use for travels you can just tap it in and out instead of using your debit or credit card you can link it with your student id and you will get discounts uh if if you are on graduate visa if you don't have your student id you can link it with your national rail card so you will then get, then also get one third off so I, I i use my national rail card because now i don't i'm not a student anymore so still i can get discounts here where i live in the london now the fourth thing that i like to discuss is shopping and eating out now how do you save on these stuff right so there's always going to be student discounts everywhere in any shopping store you go h&m zara uh, or any restaurant that you go always ask them for student discount there, there, there's going to be always a minimum of 10 percent discount everywhere so make sure you never forget to ask this because you can save a lot from this and there are also apps like uni days and other apps i'll mention them here so you can use these apps to get discounts on online stuff for example if you're booking a national express a bus to intercity bus you can avail a 15 percent discount using uni days so there are a lot of stuff that you can avail discount on so make sure you use it until you have it right because after your student id expires all of the luxury goes away ask me <laughs> fifth topic that i'd like to talk to you about it's a bit different it's about building a habit of saving i would like to share this thing that i've learned whenever you get a salary the first thing that you basically do is save or invest but for investment i will keep this aside for now because there are few things that you need to do before you start actively investing that like making your emergency funds right so that is all i'll, I'll not discuss that in more detail but uh, let me talk to you about savings this time is going to be a very good time for you to develop a habit of saving money now i understand when i was also in university i hardly used to save anything because there's nothing left to save honestly i would really emphasize on this that even as little as five to ten pounds weekly if you could save just for that trip like a beach trip or something right just save it develop a habit of saving because i've also read it somewhere that the money that you have is not decided by how much you earn it's really decided by your savings and investments now let, let's keep investments aside but let's focus on saving for now even if a person who is earning four thousand pounds a month but he is spending three thousand on say whatever right on eating out or whatever they they like and only saving thousand pound and a person who is earning less than that person say for example three thousand pound a month and saving 
फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड पाउंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो ही इज कटिंग डाउन ऑन ऑन हिज रेंट और कटिंग डाउन और डूइंग स्मार्ट ग्रोसरी शॉपिंग वट एवर वट एवर रीजन दैट इज ना हु हैज द मोर मनी द पर्सन हु अर्नस लेस हैज द मोर मनी विद दैट विद हिम राइट सो इट रियली डजेंट डिपेंड हाउ मच यू अर्न बट हाउ मच यू सेव एंड इन्वेस्ट सो इट्स रियली अ गुड टाइम फॉर यू टू स्टार्ट एंड हैबिट ऑफ सेविंग इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑल्सो इफ यू कैन गो अहेड बट सेविंग आई वुड रियली लाइक टू इन्फोसाइज ऑन दैट सो दैट ब्रिंग्स मी टू द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो गाइज आई होप यू एन्जॉय दिस वन इफ यू डेड मेक श्योर यू लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड आई विल सी इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो